Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Let's try something a little bit different today. You know what, let's play as Judas. I've been meaning to try Eve since, ever since that co-commentary with Edmund McMillan. He said Eve is his favorite character, you know, and you know, he kind of insinuated that what I was missing is there's a strategy to Eve that you basically just have to hurt yourself to do more damage. I think that, you know, honestly, he's a little bit crazy. I still think Eve is, like, the worst character in the game, but I've been meaning to try it out, given the benefit of the doubt. After all, he did create the damn thing. But for now, we're just going to stick to, you know, things that are relatively comfortable for me. Play as Judas. And hopefully we'll be able to keep this Book of Belial until basically the end of the game. The thing about Judas, if you do well, especially if you get, like, health upgrades, you can basically just hold on to the Book of Belial for as long as you can. Oh, that was so bad. Because it is essentially uh, an endgame item. At least in terms of quality. I mean, there's no such thing as really an endgame item in Isaac. Because, obviously, you can pick it up at almost any point. I'm just gonna go back and get this other half heart. But, if you uh, do pretty poorly for health upgrades, which is largely out of your control a lot of the time, then you might have to get rid of that and pick up a Book of Revelations or something. But hopefully it doesn't come to that. You know what? Let's fight the boss right away, because we're already here, and I do have a Book of Belial Charge stored up. It's just going to be a Blue Larry Jr., which is actually great for us here in the early game, because it means we're going to get a Spirit Heart. So I'm just going to basically throw in shots from a safe distance. I love fighting Larry Jr. when they, they choose to go in different directions. There we go. So there's one dead. Wow, that was super easy. Two Spirit Hearts and an HP up. What have I done to deserve this benevolence? Let's head down, and hopefully we'll be able to find a... Actually, we'll explore the rest, mainly because I don't want to find another good candidate for the secret room. If the secret room can only be in one possible location, that's fantastic for me. I suppose we'll also want to go to the item room. That tends to be pretty important, especially if we can pick up some kind of passive item. Skeleton key would be fantastic. Oh, just a regular key is okay, too. For now, anyway. Definitely won't go to the shop on this floor. Dice! Ooh, tempting. Very tempting, but I'm going to stick with Book of Belial. And it looks like there is only one possible location for the secret room, so let's bust open this wall right here and hopefully we'll find something good. Unicorn Horn. Oh man, again, another tempting one, but I am going to pass that by. To pick up the dice, reroll the Unicorn Horn, but then that would also reroll the Book of Belial, I believe, which would be risky for me, because this is an item that I definitely want to hold on to. Again, I'm not sure, again, about the specific properties of um, Book of Belial, or any item in the game for that matter, as you'll probably gather if you've watched any of the episodes so far. This is, show is now long running. It's like longer running than most NBC sitcoms. I don't even know why I, I, I harp on MP NBC in these, but I don't even watch TV anymore, really. Except for Eastbound and Down, now that's a great show. Coming back for its third and final season! Now I'll just cash that $50 check that HBO sent me and be on my way. We can end the episode right here. Two more Spirit Hearts in that Tinted Rock. Things are coming up Millhouse right now. Sloth, not a huge deal. Not even going to bother using my Book of Belial on him. Because, you know, it would be great for taking out the Silkworms, but it's not essential. Especially because, you know, we're not going to get much reward for killing Sloth. Probably a tarot card. I don't think I've ever seen him give up a passive. There's two tarot cards, okay. Everything's giving me two these days. Fool is useless. Wheel of Fortune is the slot machine. Could be useful, but is not immediately useful anyway. And actually, you know what? I should fight the boss right away. The reason being that I haven't taken any damage on this floor, which means we could get a deal with the devil. And I want to do that deal with the devil while we have spirit hearts. Alright, so we're going to take out little Steven here. Or I guess we'll go big Steven, then little Steven. It's better sometimes. Because I do think it increases your chances of getting the Steven upgrade if you kill Little Steven first. Oh, you know, maybe we will be able to kill Little Steven first. Uh, I'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> it was close. But oh well, we'll just stick with Little Stevie. Not a bad pickup. Hopefully we don't end up fighting Krampus. Brimstone. Let's do it. It's been a long time. <laughs> now things are risky because I am only dealing in spirit hearts, but hopefully I can get an HP upgrade at some point. At this point, might want to get rid of my Book of Belial and pick up a Book of Revelations, actually, surprisingly enough, after I said that I, that was something I expressed no interest in. Enough money to make the shop worthwhile? Almost. Ah, uh, man, the brimstone feels good. It's been a long time. I accidentally wasted that bomb by pressing E. 
Happens now and again. There's our item room. I do have keys I can get into it with. And let's open up this item room and see what we got. That is Sister Maggie. Alright, that's fine by me. Sister Maggie does a little bit more damage than Brother Bobby. I believe I saw that on Ed's form spring. Again, I've been talking about Ed McMillan a lot. I guess you could say I'm starstruck. But uh, definitely, if you have more questions for him than that I didn't answer, and I didn't answer a whole lot, or ask a whole lot, I should say, um, definitely check out his form spring. Dude answers like 300 fan questions a day. Just Google Edmund McMillan form spring. And you will, odds are, find what you're looking for. Lots of information about the uh, upcoming expansion. He's very transparent about the stuff that he's making. It's, oh god, I've, I've fucked this up big time. There we go, I managed to shoot it back. Uh, I don't think... Eh, it probably still counted. Oh well. Um, what was I going to say? He's a, you know, a man of the fans. Let's put it that way. And let's pop down a bomb right there. There is our secret room. More money, please. One up. Okay, that's actually a great pickup as well. Feeling pretty confident right now. But again, because I'm only rolling in spirit hearts, anything could happen. Chocolate milk. The map. I want chocolate milk plus brimstone. You said you'd give me chocolate milk and you didn't. That makes you a liar. Does that, does referencing that video make me ancient in internet years? I think it does. Uh, okay. So we got brimstone, chocolate milk. I hope those stack because I did just spend 15 cents. Hermit takes us to the shop, I think. Well, let's hold on to that because we'll probably use our key to go to the item room. So chocolate milk in conjunction with brimstone and book of Belial should be a pretty sick combo here. Again, Assuming they stack. If they don't stack, then it's just worthless, but... Oh well. Maybe the peace of mind is invaluable. Definitely pick up that scent, because we will try to go to the shop a little bit later. Headless, or bodiless guys. Sadly, no, uh, no means of flying, so I can't get to that chest or that tarot card. Pride, okay. Pride, you know... Generally speaking, pretty easy, but why not? Go for Book of Belial. Take him out. A little bit easier. Nope. Oh. Obviously, watch out for that. Definitely do not want Anarchist Cookbook. Would love to get a, get a battery so I could use Book of Belial in every other room. I seem to say like the same things almost every video. I want a battery, I want Book of Revelations, I want Brimstone and Mom's Knife. What can I say? I, I, I'm a man who knows what he wants. In particular, in the Binding of Isaac. Why do these shots not seem to hit? It's almost like Chocolate Milk is, is glitching out my Brimstone a little bit, so my accuracy is worse. Either that or maybe. I just suck. I did take one damage from those guys, which is a pretty substantial hit, considering I only have three hearts. Can go to the shop, but I'm not going to use a key to go there when I can just uh, actually use my fool card, or whatever it's called. Hermit card, I believe. Yeah, I left the fool card back there. Because that's largely worthless to me. Item room contains a quarter. Now I will go to the shop. And the compass is a great pickup. Show us absolutely where everything is. And we still have 11 cents, which we could use on the next floor. And there's a tinted rock here, which I didn't notice before. So thank God we came back. Ah, uh, why not? Range up. Worthless. <laughs> if we go for, like, Mom's Knife, then it's fine. Really need some more Spirit Arts, though. Otherwise, I am going to be in a difficult spot soon, probably. We'll probably run into Greed on one of the next shops. But after that, maybe we can get a Book of Revo. B-Rev as a... You know, friends in the industry call it. Now, if these guys could stop shooting at the turret, that would be fantastic. There we go. We'll just finish this little charade off. Ah, uh, no bombs, so I'm not going to look for the secret room. So we'll just come up here, try to clear ourselves a path again. I think Chocolate Milk has kind of nerfed my brimstone a little bit. I'm missing shots that it looks like I should be hitting. But again, I might just be talking out of my ass, as I sometimes do. Oh, always, always I do that same dodge here, and always, always I get hit. Blue pill? Why, oh why? Did I take the blue pill? Tears down! Okay. Gertie. Book of Belial. That didn't hit it? How is that possible? Okay, now, how are we gonna do this? No bombs. We are definitely going to hide behind these rocks. We're doing a ton of damage, which is great. I hate fighting Gertie still, though. You'd think, like, after all this time, I would have its patterns really figured out. <laughs> nope, still take, uh, dumb damage constantly. Oh my god, I may actually die during this boss fight. That would be so embarrassing, considering the items that I've gotten so far. There we go. 
Not being able to replenish your health is actually you know, being kind of a problem here. Okay, now we got an HP upgrade, so it's a little bit minimized. We're basically like regular Judas plus an HP upgrade right now. Move our way over here. Okay, I definitely want to get at that money. But I think I will need a bomb to do so. Which is fine. Understandable even. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Of course, I, I definitely wanted all five of those guys, or four of those guys. Apparently, I can't count either. Shooting at once. It's going to make my life much easier. I should just be standing out of range and taking them out, to be honest with you. Okay, now let's... Take out his friend there. Now, these guys can stop hitting him. That would be fantastic for me. There we go. One extra send. We're getting close to item territory. We don't have any keys with which to go to the shop, though. And that is going to be our most serious problem coming into this next area. Especially since I want to go to the item room as well, of course. Sadly, no key drop there. I could use more spirit hearts. Like, really, really use more spirit hearts. And thankfully, there's a Tinted Rock over there. And I also love this place with Brimstone, because you can basically just go to town on it. Sadly, I don't have any bombs with which to open that Tinted Rock. Or break that Tinted Rock, or the Tinted Rock in this room. And no means with which to get to that key, so the game is pretty much just taunting me right now. One bomb could turn this all around. Use a bomb on a Tinted Rock, get a bomb as a result of that. And then it just, you know, it spirals out of control. In a good way, not in a, like, Charlie Sheen way. Turrets are dead. Human Popcorn doesn't really stand a chance. Champion Human Popcorn... Also doesn't stand a chance. Thank you for dropping that Spirit Heart. Although I would love a bomb for killing this Grandfather Fly. No, that's not really that important. Gotta be careful here. If I can get the rocks to block these shots, that would be fantastic. Okay, there's our bomb. So we're gonna use our bomb to get... Not the money, we'll use our bomb to get to the Tinted Rock. Because if it has some health, that's very useful for us. If it doesn't have any health, then that's still okay. Because it should have a key, or a bomb, or something in it. Two spirit hearts, fantastic. Doing well on health again, but would love to get some more bombs again so I can pick up all this money. There's like seven cents over here, eight cents. And of course, can't forget about the uh, other tinted rock up there, which could contain two more spirit hearts or a damage upgrade, both of which would be really useful at this point. So what we got here? Bodyless heads. Dodging in this room setup is always very tricky. And they don't seem to die in one hit. Well, the champion did, which is strange. There's our 15 cent. Envy, why not Book of Belial here? Hopefully we'll still have enough to, uh, to go against the boss, otherwise that was a terrible decision on my part. But who knows, maybe we'll be able to buy a battery in the shop should we ever come across a, a key that we can get. Fantastic, one cent. So we'll definitely go to the gauntlet room, or the mob trap room as well. Otherwise, we might be shit out of luck, essentially. Well, there's some slowdown, but we did get a bomb out of that, as well as the half heart in a sense. Bomb will be useful to pop open that other spirit heart. And we got a key. Okay, so where should we use that? Item room or shop? Shop's maybe better at this point because we can pick what we want. We'll also see, maybe we'll get another key for actually defeating the entire room. We got one eyeless use guys down. These guys are pretty slow. Speed upgrade would not be, uh unwelcome at this point. I'm feeling like I'm a little bit slow. Which is gonna hurt me as we get further on. Tarot card. Wheel of Fortune. I should be playing this Wheel of Fortune, actually, so that we can uh, actually improve maybe our chances of getting a key or something. But with only 17 cents, let's go to the shop first. You know, worst case scenario, I'll go to the shop. They don't have anything I want. Oh, wait, I have... Yeah, okay, go to the shop. I could buy something, and then maybe I'll be able to buy a key as well. Let's pop a bomb down here. Pick up 8 cents, that'll put us up to 25. So there's actually, we could get two spacebar items. Although that would be totally useless, because how would we use them? Ah, and there's another key over there, but I have to blow up that tinted rock as well. Okay, we got steam sale. Might as well get this other key while we're here. Definitely gonna run into greed. Next shop, I would say. Uh, I only have one bomb, do I? Oh, I don't need the, to get the key anymore, because I got the key from the shop. Okay. And we got some bombs there anyway. Perfect. That was exactly the best way that that could work out. So now we're doing fine on bombs and keys. Could even look for the secret room, but I'm not gonna. Let's just go to the item room instead. In fact, with only one bomb, there's way too many locations the secret room could be. 
So we'll just go to the item room, pray that it's something good. Although I do have two keys now, so... Even if it's just homing bombs, that's fine. I mean, at the very least, this will give us an extra five bombs, which is a nice touch. And then we can finally go down here and fight the boss, and Book of Belial did indeed recharge. That was a good floor for us. Really turned things around. It was starting to look pretty dire there. Now things look very radiant. Get it? Some people get it, I'm sure. Okay, we'll pop out here. I really don't like the layout of this room, but we'll make it work. We always do. Pretty easy to just go with these guys into attacking. <clears throat> no means with which to get to that bomb. So we'll use Book of Belial. And take out pretty hard bosses here on the, you know, the first few floors. Or on the cave's floors, anyway, I should say. Peep and Gertie are probably the two hardest bosses in the game for me. At least in the earliest stages. Or earlier stages. Not Oh, how did I... It was going so slow and I still got hit by it. Not earliest stages, of course. And Peep is probably one shot away. There we go, that was perfect. We do get the opportunity to trade with the devil. This reeks of a, a Krampus jest here. Let's see. Oh, no. Necronomicon is a good pickup. Dead Cat is not such a good pickup, but I'm just gonna... Stick with my Book of Belial and we'll head down to the next floor. Let's make our way towards the item room slash shop area. Could get another Spirit Heart for... Oh, I'm definitely going to take damage here. How did I get my way out of that one? I can't believe it. Again, it feels like Brimstone should be hitting these guys, but it's actually not. I wonder if that's something to do with chocolate milk. I hope not, because it feels like it should be a great combination. Six bombs. I forgot about that. We might as well pick up the Spirit Heart. And the nickel. Why can't we have both? Oh, I totally bunged up that, uh, what is it, Old El Paso commercial. Why not both? Why not have both? I don't live in America, I don't see American advertisements, but I see it referenced on the internet constantly. You guys must love that Old El Paso ad. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you are not alone. Because I don't really know what I'm talking about either right now. Okay. That would have been a great opportunity for the game to prove that it was trying to be nice to me and just kill all those leapers with the first shot that I did there. That's not how things turned out, though, is it? Well, dropped a whole heart. That's not really useful for me, but that's okay. Mom's knife instead of brimstone, you know what? I'm just gonna abandon that. I am gonna save this key, not open that chest. I'm gonna stick with brimstone, because I think that's gonna give me better options when it comes to staying away from fights, essentially. Now, I don't think there's anything down here that we want, so let's just start moving over to the right. We're definitely going to want to go to the shop, even though we probably will fight Greed, and that's why I'm saving Book of Belial for that Greed fight. Why does it seem like Brimstone is not doing much damage? Hmm. Could use some kind of damage upgrade. There's our bomb. I almost said Book. What was I thinking? And... Uh, this is a scary place to be. Luckily, I had... Little Steven and Sister Maggie there to do some extra damage for me. Otherwise, flies can be kind of a pain in the ass when you have Brimstone, because you can't charge your weapon fast enough to get rid of them if they kind of just blitz at you. Don't want to use a bomb to get a bomb. That was pretty much inevitable, wasn't it? You can just... you greed sense these days. That was really easy. It's going to give us about 9 cents, looks like. Well, 7 cents. That was pretty close. And we will use those... On the shop on the next floor, because we'll probably not run into greed there. Making pretty good time so far, but certainly, you know, not unprecedented time. Now, these guys can sometimes get out of that poop, so I'm gonna... Try to keep them trapped in there. Deal with the flies later. Let little Stevie deal with the flies if he can. There we go. I was really hoping for a key drop there. So I could get to that spirit heart. Oh, well. Still doing very well on health. Although this room could change that, I'm kind of trapped in a tight spot here. Half heart I can't use, which means we will just basically go to the boss room. Love to get these bombs out of the way. Two of my least favorite enemies actually here, nubs and bomb flies. Both can take you by surprise. There's one. There's a second, and yeah, I guess we're just going to go right to the boss then. Depths Bar 1 is the Fallen. Okay, this is good because it's going to give us a deal with the Devil item. It's bad, of course, because the Fallen is kind of difficult. But, you know, we're going to have to fight him sooner or later anyway, so we might as well practice now. Taking a little bit of damage so far, but... So if I can get these guys in a row, 
Should be able to take them out very easily. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Get damage up, and actually, I think that's all stats up. Looked like it gave us a little bit of extra health as well, but I might be talking out of my ass. And, yeah, that, that worked out pretty well so far. Now if I could actually hit them, instead of just, you know, skirting this huge laser beam around them, we would be in a much better position. How did I not take damage immediately there? So the question I'm asking. Come over here, hopefully pick up a key. Again, why is it? It's like, almost like I got this debuff where the first shot of Brimstone never hits, so I gotta get it out of the way. Trying to be, trying to be smart here. Take them out one at a time. It's like solving a Sudoku puzzle. You, know? you just gotta get the elements in the right order. Definitely gonna blow up this, but I won't open the chest, which is gonna be difficult for me. Oh, not if the key gets thrown all the way over there. Okay, we got dead bird, bomb key. Definitely get dead bird. Might as well get key. We'll save our, uh, we'll save the rest of our money. So that we can go to a slot machine if we want to. Or I could use my Wheel of Fortune card, or, you know, we could go to Judgment. Plenty of options. I guess we're going to make our way down to the boss now, which is going to require us to actually... You know, we want to go down left, which is going to require us to go way to the right, apparently. Again, why are these shots not hitting? Maybe I'm not letting the room fully load before I, I unload that shot. In any case, it seems very strange to me, let's put it that way. So, Dead Bird, of course, now whenever we get hit... Uh, there will be a bird that comes out, does some extra damage to everything around us. So we're getting, you know, the best part of Eve without actually having to play as Eve, which is really the best of both worlds. Uh, looks like that's a secret room with greed in it, which I don't want to deal with. Because it's just going to give us more useless money if we beat greed. Ah, another pill. Fantastic. Health up. It's kind of a tough room. Not a big fan of the spikes. What if we can just take him out one at a time? Again, Isaac, all about patience and twitch reflexes. If that seems contradictory, 100% is. Oh, come on. They should all die in one shot. Wow, that's exactly how that shit went down. I'm really wondering why these brimstone shots are not hitting first. It might be that I'm just totally off-center and people in the comments are already raging by this point in the video. Oh, well. Wouldn't be the first time, would it? See, these guys are gonna die. I probably won't have any way to get to that golden chest, but that's alright. Instead, we'll go to the mob trap room. Well, sack of pennies isn't horrible, but it's not really what we'd want at this point of the game. I will use this bomb. Oh god, don't get it any closer to me. Just so I can get that heart to bring me up to full health. And we're gonna be fighting mom here. So, obviously, Book of Belial up. When the foot comes down, that'll bust open that tinted rock. Give us a spirit heart, or give us a key, which is nice. Would have preferred a spirit heart, but oh well. Beggars can't be choosers. Just continue going to town on it here. Working very well so far. Brimstone's such an asset for this fight because you can take out uh, all of the detritus that she sends at you, essentially. Oh, definitely should not have been hit by that. I should learn my lesson, but oh well, we get dead bird at least. That'll probably do it right there, and we get a range upgrade. Again, totally useless, but we're doing very well for health. And now we can go down to the depths and essentially just try to rush at Satan. And hopefully run into Skolex on this floor. And that, that hit should have been devastating right there. It's almost like that buff makes Brimstone, or debuff, makes Brimstone a lot worse. If you made it so the first shot of Brimstone didn't hit, that would be huge. I'm going to hope that we're going the right direction here. Hard to tell. Oh, it looks like we are, okay. Um, I can't get to that chest without getting another key. Well, <laughs> ask and you shall receive, I suppose. So we'll pick that up. We might as well. What else are we going to use our keys for here? One. Two and three. Tarot card, the sun. Great card. I uh, probably want to use that on this boss. We'll definitely use it on a boss here. Maybe, uh... Might be a good card to use on Satan if I can hold it for that long, to be honest with you. Getting some serious frame rate issues on this room, but that's okay. I guess I'll <laughs> try to kill them to minimize those. And cook, like, bacon on my processor right now. Clearly, I don't know anything about computers. Is the processor the part that gets hot? <laughs> I don't know. Is that why I smell burning plastic every time I record a video? Hey, Judgment! Definitely use Judgment here. Give him some money. 
Um, I don't even... Ah, Book of Revelations might be useful right now. That's something that he drops from time to time. HP upgrade is fine, too. Saves me from making a difficult decision. If it's death, maybe I'll use the sun. Blast assist. Eh, uh, we'll split him up first, and then let's use the sun. Blast assist isn't, in general, a, a difficult boss. Oh, God. But he is kind of being a pain in the ass right now. Stop being such a pain in the ass, Blast assist. Let's use the sun card. That should split him up a little bit more. All right. So now it's just like we're dealing with the last room. That was easy enough. Speed upgrade. I'll take that. And down to the next floor. That was a really good uh, depths part one for us. I would love to run into a situation where the boss was like right next to us, but sadly that doesn't seem possible. Definitely going to go visit Judgment here. Oh, come on. That was horrible. What was I thinking was going to happen there? I, I just wasn't thinking. That's the problem. Uh, pick up our money. Health that I can't use. This is not the right way to the boss, but this room isn't so bad. Hopefully we'll be able to come out of here without taking any damage, and then my mistake won't be as important. Tarot card is the devil. Okay, I wonder if we can use that in conjunction with Book of Belial to get just like insane damage on Mom's heart in this next boss fight. Again, that, as far as I'm concerned, that hit should have devastated them. Really have no business taking damage there, but I've been fairly good about taking stupid damage so far in this video. Which is a rarity for me, of course. There's one more left? Man, I hate those guys. The programming on those guys is just... It has to be, like, frustrate the player as much as possible. When they're near death, just have them hide for, like, four or five minutes sometimes. Whenever the player comes within shooting range of them, have them go down and hide again. Another scent that will probably prove worthless. Another pill, which is uh, range down, I believe. Or tears down, which I definitely don't want to deal with. Alright. <laughs> Let's think this through. Kick that over a little bit. Oh. I think that's okay. That was perfect. Don't walk on the spikes. Now we'll start giving him my money. Okay. Thanks for the tarot card. I just used one. Hero fun. It's two spirit hearts. That's great. It'd be better if one of them didn't land on the spikes, but we can, you know, do something about that. Okay, regular heart. That might come in handy after this mom's heart boss fight. And now you should be giving me like an HP upgrade. Ladder. Okay, weird item to get at this point, but certainly not a horrible. There's our other spirit heart. Let's go fight mom's heart here. Right off the bat, we want to use the devil, then we want to run, because these lasers are going to shoot in like a second and a half. Then we want to use Book of Belial, uh, maybe when the lasers are dead. Okay, there we go. Good position. Let's use our bombs. And the bomb fly to essentially take out those guys. The monster doesn't really stand a chance. I wonder how much damage I'm doing. I, I haven't really taken a look at it, but I, I imagine I'm like three hitting monster right here, yeah. Place a bomb, have my guys shoot the bomb in, deal with the zombies. Mom's heart is already half dead. Easy fight here. In fact, Brimstone just makes the fight easy, even if you don't have, like, Book of Belial in conjunction with, uh, the Devil card. I mean, I must be doing more damage than, you know, probably I've ever done before, but still. The other thing that's really useful in this fight is flying. I mean, I've mentioned that many times, but flying essentially makes this fight... I gotta stop saying essentially so much. It makes this fight really, really easily, easily completed because you don't have to walk over the creek, which will sometimes result in you taking damage, of course. Lost the spirit heart in there, but that's not so bad. Could be worse. Could have lost another loan to, to die tech. We'll just head down to the next floor and try to get to Satan as fast as possible, because the rooms on this floor is usually are usually hideous. I'm already I've taken like three hearts of damage off. Oh lord, this is bad. I hate dealing with these skull guys. I prefer to deal with skull girls out in March on Xbox Live Arcade. Oh my god, I almost got killed there. Alright, hopefully they drop like 10 hearts. Wow, it's amazing how fast a run can go from good to terrible. My favorite! Just focusing really intently here. Alright, so far so 
actually so far so bad this has not gone well oh this little ah! <laughs> I shouldn't be alive right now oh well yeah don't drop a heart or anything something that could actually be useful for me oh there's a uh, tinted rocks here I'm gonna actually have to hit these guys with brimstone in order to get to it though two spirit hearts two spirit hearts yes I will try to make this work as best as I can well, okay, this is how we're gonna do it then. We might as well go to the slot machine. Donate our last 16 cents to it in an attempt to get some hearts or spirit hearts or pills or tarot cards. Bombs, fine too. Um, not really as useful. Really only need one bomb for the Satan fight. Alright, half a heart. That's uh, an extra hit, technically. Another full heart. That's really good. I'm glad I stopped here rather than just going to town. Trying to beat Satan right away. Seven cents left. I, uh, it's been a while since I fought Satan. I'm not sure how this fight's gonna go, but I, I hope it goes fairly well. It's been a while since I've beaten the game. I haven't been playing as much as I used to. Alright, just murder that fly with only four cents left. I'm not that optimistic, but you never know. Another spirit heart would be nice, or another full regular heart. In any case, we're obviously gonna blow up this slot machine, and it'll probably give us something there. Tears down. No need. Let's blow up the slot machine and then get ready for the next one. Well, one more bomb and one more cent. So totally worthless, worthless explosion, but that's okay. Obviously, Book of Belial's got to come out here. Place the bomb and run away. It worked out alright. A chain explosion might even do more damage than one big explosion. One more hit should get it split. And then we'll do twice as, well, damage twice as fast. I guess not technically twice as much damage. You can line him up. I can knock him down. Okay, that was really good, actually. Now, this is typically, historically, the easier part of the Satan boss fight. Unless you just walk into his attack like that. That's alright. Where's Dead Bird, anyway? Dead Bird, go to town! That's what you're supposed to be doing, like, incremental passive damage, essentially. This is a really good position to be in, because half of his shots just fly off the screen, apparently. I've never noticed that before. The closer he gets to me, the quicker it hits me, though. Zoom around to this side. See if I can... Ah, yeah, made it across there. Again! Dead bird. Feel free at any time to, you know, assert your usefulness. I'm actually, like, putting you in range of... Oh, my God. I'm putting you in range of his attacks. Okay. Now we've got the hard part. I took a lot of damage on the so-called easy part, so I'm scared. You know the drill for this part. We're just gonna basically moonwalk out of here. We can hit two, uh, two of the goat's legs at once. That's even better. So far, so great, actually. Now, <laughs> it's risky. Dead bird, please don't blow up bomb flies in my face. Oh, there we go, we made it. Can't believe it. Well, anyway, this has been the first successful run through the Binding of Isaac in a long time. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.